So on the right, we have just a typical web view of Google Calendar. And to get a few basics out of the way, you have uh, the entire app, which is called the calendar, right? But then you also have your calendars down at the bottom. And these are different collections of events. Let me scroll down a little bit. And then you also have other calendars, which are calendars outside of your Google account. So you'll notice I've checked that Adam Steinfurth calendar, it's, that's my default. And then I just created one for this video called exercise. This is more of an aspirational thing. Sometimes it happens, but we're going to say three days this week, I'm going to exercise and that's its own calendar within Google calendar. And then if you use tasks, they can appear on the calendar, but they're not considered a calendar. So I have one of those here. I'll just uncheck that. That'll go away. And that's fine because you can't pull that into sheets anyway. All right, so our first technique is what's built into Google Sheets and they're called calendar chips. They're a type of smart chip. And to access those, you can either just type the at symbol or use the menu. So I'll go to insert smart chips and then from here, select calendar events. So this narrows it down for you and only shows you calendar events. But I've had this happen with smart chips before. This is acting strangely. It's only pulling in my birthday, but I can pull in past events. So I, if you know the name of it. So keep that in mind, these smart chips can be a bit finicky. They're acting strangely for me today, but if they're working for you, they could be a good solution. So we will click on this event. And what you can do with these is extract data. So the smart chip concept makes it more powerful than just regular spreadsheet data, numbers or letters in a cell, right? So you can tell it's a smart chip because it's outlined in this gray pill shape. If I go out of the cell and then I hover on this, this will give you a summary of the event. It'll give you a link to the calendar event too, uh, but a powerful function that it has is called data extractions. And what that does is it will come into the event and pull out every little piece of extra information that you can have associated with it. So for this, let's say uh, we want to see a summary of the event, the start time and the end time. If you click extract, tell it, yes, it's okay. It can list all of this event information for you. All right, and you'll notice that this brought in pretty rich data, right? So this is a date with a time associated with it. If I copy this formatting to this cell, they also get a time. So you can do this with smart chips if they happen to be working for you and you can get the calendar data into your spreadsheet. And one of the nice things about doing it with smart chips is that you don't have to use any third party add ons. But this next solution that we're going to look at is a third party add on and it lets us work faster and a little bit cleaner. So we will start this up. This is a paid add on. I have a link in the description with the discounted price. So if you do decide to purchase it after the seven day free trial, you can use that link. But what this does is it lets you select the date range. So with this add on, we can actually select this week of events. So we'll say the 19th through the 23rd. Click here. And then you can choose which calendar. So if you look here, this add-on is pulling in this calendar that I called personal. And then the main calendar, which is named Adam Steinfurth. This is just the email address of my main account. Then it's pulling in holidays and exercise. It ignores tasks because that's not a calendar and it's ignoring the birthdays too, which is fine. We don't need those, right? So we'll say we want to pull in all the events for my main calendar and let's look at exercise too. So with this add on, just click pull events, it takes a whole sheet and turns it into your calendar entries. We'll close that sidebar. We'll expand this and take a look at what happened. So this is the title of the event in the start and the end date. Let's format these so that all of them show the date and the time. 
right? And then we can add a column if we want, because now this is just static spreadsheet data that it entered into here. And we can say duration. And if we take the ending time minus the starting time, you can see the time that you will spend in meetings. So this is a portion of a day. That's a default uh, way that Sheets will show date arithmetic. We can change that, we'll go to format and tell it that it's a duration. And also having these date values in here enables you to use a timeline. So we could go to insert and pick timeline. We'll use the range of A1 through G8, which is all the data. Click OK. And this gives you a visual representation of what you had in your calendar. And you can see this is showing the duration also. So the edit video is going to take longer than make calendar. You can tell that by the width of the little rectangle. And when you click on it, you get this information to the right. And you can come down here to edit. It will bring you back to the row and it highlights it for you. And there we go. Supposedly I'm going to take an hour to make this video and then two and a half hours to edit it. That's probably about accurate. And then when you come in here, you can see things that you might want to fill out or might be mistakes because this lets you see everything in one sheet, which is hard to do on Google Calendar. All right, so I'll put a link to this add-on on the screen right now. And thanks for watching.